Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ejack Garage here, and welcome to a special hybrid episode of The Wise Guy and Metroid Musings. Now a while ago, my number one YouTuber, Rule of Two Review, brought to my attention a tweet that Brie Larson had sent out, showing her wearing a Zero Suit Samus costume. Someone then commented saying, is this the closest we're going to get to a Metroid movie? To which Brie Larson actually responded saying, I hope not, I want to make that movie. At the time, I knew nothing about Brie Larson aside from the fact that she played Captain Marvel, which was enough for me to like the idea. From what I had seen of her as Captain Marvel, Brie Larson looked the part perfectly, not only in form, but also facial features, possessing an extraordinary combination of beauty and fierceness, inexpendable traits for someone playing Samus in my book. After some thinking recently, however, Brie Larson has been demoted from being my top candidate to being my last resort as far as someone playing Samus goes, and here's why. Nintendo has been really good at not getting involved in gender politics, which means they treat all their characters the same and don't make a big deal about a character's gender. The only instance this was the case in Metroid was the great gender reveal at the end of the original Metroid, during a time when video games were still in their younger days. Not to mention it's possible some players thought the non-femininely named Samus was actually a robot, considering the name Metroid was a combination of the words Metro, meaning fast-paced, and Android. Beyond that, Samus's being a woman has had essentially zero impact on her story. She's respected and adored by a vast majority of male fans because of how cool and badass she is and not because of flashing billboards saying she's a woman. On the other hand, Captain Marvel being a woman and the most powerful superhero of the Marvel Universe and having gained considerable attention from the media has essentially become the forefront representative and hero of the feminist agenda. Ergo, regardless of Brie Larson's own views on gender politics, her name is permanently associated with pro-feminism. Therefore, the idea of Brie Larson playing Samus in a Metroid movie would mean the death and corruption of the Metroid we all know and love. Samus would go from being the valiant and selfless warrior to the vengeance on misogyny and the patronizing patriarchy, something Metroid was never about, and so-called real-life issues that the real Samus couldn't care less about. Even if the movie itself wasn't guilty of such corruption, Brie Larson's plain Samus would bring attention from the wrong crowd and would thus prove disastrous. I suppose it is inevitable that making a Metroid movie at all would bring the wrong kind of attention to the series, but better to cast someone far less known to play Samus Aran, let alone someone other than the image of the feminist agenda. But anyway, that's all I wanted to discuss today. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I hope to see you next time. Ciao.